Good morning, everyone. Becoming pregnant is a wonderful thing, but it doesn't come with a guidebook, darn it. <laughs> well, what's first? We'll let you know. We are breaking down the important things that you need to know once you get the good news. Calling all women who plan on getting pregnant, maybe for the first time, or you plan on having a family in your future, where do you start? Well, we're breaking everything down today. We're at, we're at the Institute for Women's Health, and we're talking to Dr. Carcamo. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Well, thank you for uh, giving us this great information, because getting pregnant can potentially be scary, because you don't know where to go first, but you're going to help us out. Well, one of the first things I think you can do is just go and get a baseline checkup with your doctor and make sure that you're healthy. Get your pap smear, get everything up to date. And once you get past that point, I think one of the things that I want people to know is you don't have to be perfect to have a baby. If you have high blood pressure or diabetes or thyroid problems or even something like rheumatoid arthritis, you can still have a healthy baby. And it's so important that we collaborate with your doctor and look at the medications you're on and find the safest thing for you to take because you need to be healthy for your baby to be healthy and we also want you to feel good. Well let's talk about being healthy because that's really important and that also includes the way you're eating. We're talking about nutrition. What's uh, the best advice when it comes to that? Well, I, I think the things that you should do is try and have a well-balanced diet. You need to take extra folic acid even up to six months before you're going to have a baby. And the amount you need may change depending on whether your ideal weight or you have had a child with a birth defect before. And folic acid is, is nice because it's not iron. It won't upset your stomach. It's very inexpensive, but it can prevent major birth defects where the spinal cord doesn't close. So if you're planning and you have time, definitely get on the folic acid. And then the other thing, too, is that you need to look at your habits. Um, are you getting some exercise to eat a healthy diet? If you smoke, it's a great time to quit because that makes you high risk during your pregnancy and it affects your fertility. And if you're over your ideal weight, it doesn't mean you can't get pregnant, but if you can try and take some steps to be more healthy before you get pregnant, that may actually enhance your fertility. What would you suggest, maybe for somebody who isn't very active, to kind of jump into it? I think at least start walking and, and doing, you know, take your lunch, eat a healthy diet, watch, you know, quick going to the drive through Think about what you eat because your yeah. fuel, this your food is your fuel and you want good fuel in your body. Especially you're, for your baby. Yeah, and when you're pregnant, you really need lots of good fuel and good food. So, you know, eat your fruits and vegetables, eat a healthy diet, and, and then you'll feel good when you get pregnant. You know, I, I plan on having a baby uh, eventually and having my, a family of my own, but I'm also thinking about this financially. Where do you think I can start to start saving for a baby? Well, you know, one of the most important things I think is that if you're fortunate enough to have insurance on your own or through your work, is look at your deductible. Because if you can drop your deductible, you probably could save some money because you're going to hit that deductible when you have a baby. And it is stressful to have a baby, so if you have a health savings account, some of these big companies have them, you can put your deductible aside pre-tax, so that may save you some money. And for women who have the option at work of getting disability insurance, you need to have that before you get pregnant. And we really don't want to put you on bed rest, but we would like you to have uh, coverage if, if you can't work. And that may decrease your stress. Some of these things, uh, some women might not even think about until you're already there. So we're so fortunate that you're here sharing with everybody before it happens to kind of help prepare. All right, guys, so if you just got the good news and you don't know where to head to, look, we know where you can head to, the Institute for Women's Health for all of your needs and questions. They're located at 7950 Floyd Curl Drive, Suite 600. The number's there on your screen, 210-615-8585. And, of course, just check them out online. It's ifwh.org for all of that information.